Hi, I'm Dan, and I want to make a quick video here on the way to program a key fob into your Vista 20P panel. It's quick, it's easy, the panel does most of the work for you. Usually when I see a key fob programmed in, they have these buttons kind of programmed in haphazardly, they program these in one at a time, and they're just kind of in the middle of a bank of zones. And uh, it, it could be confusing. The other way that I see these programmed in is directly into your 6150 RF keypad. That is a thing with these RF keypads. You can program a key fob straight into this and it does not become part of the panel. I don't like that for a number of reasons. The biggest thing is if they change their code, then that key fob is deactivated. So look, program it into the panel. Don't program this thing into the key fob, or into, into the keypad, I'm sorry. So I've got our manual here and we don't need the manual for really any part of this, but I do wanna talk about how this works. Key fobs are four buttons and there are predefined templates for those four buttons. Now, every key fob I've ever seen has been set up with arm away, arm, I'm sorry, disarm, arm stay down here, and this fourth button at the bottom is a panic. Now, that's already preset as template number three. And the way that these key fob buttons work is it's loop one down here in the lower right, loop two on the top right, loop three on the top left, and loop four on the lower left. We don't have to program these buttons individually. So the way the 20P panel works is this gives you 48 protection zones, one through 48. And those are your doors, your windows, your motion detectors, your smoke detectors, anything hardwired, wireless. In addition, the panel gives you zones 49 through 64, specifically for key fobs, okay? That's 16 zones. That gives you the uh, ability to add four key fobs to this panel without taking up any zones that you can use for doors and windows and other protection. I rarely ever see them done that way, but that is part of what the 20P has to offer. And that's how this procedure, which is quick and easy, is going to work. So assuming that we have a system that's already working, we have the receiver, we're using the receiver here, my RF keypad. We have our alpha, Beater keypad hooked up. This is the service keypad that we all keep in our trucks to program a 20P. And of course we have our fob. That's all we need. So what we're gonna do, install our code 800, get us into programming. Obviously your dealer code is gonna be different. Okay, now that we're in programming, we're not gonna go into star 56 that we normally use for programming zones. We're gonna go into the at what is called the expert mode that star 58. So we're going to hit no here at confirm. We don't need to confirm our key fobs. So when you're in there at this zone summary screen, I want you to hit this D function key down here. Now this is, we never use this button. This is probably the only time you're ever going to see a practical use for this fourth button down here. So once you're at the screen, hit your D function key. Now we talked about templates. It's asking us for a template. We're going to hit template three and hit star to move on. And it's gonna bring us to the summary screen here of loop one, two, three, and four, and the zone type. So loop one, panic, loop two, disarm, loop three, away, and loop four, stay. We don't have to go in and program each button individually like so many people like to do. The panel is doing all the work for us. We don't have to know that, you know, zone type 22 is disarming. It's already here. The panel already knows this stuff. So we're gonna skip past that. Partition one, you don't need to change that. So we talked about the panel having zones 49 through 64 predefined for key fobs. So this expert mode is going to find the highest group of four zones that are not being used and it's gonna pick them for us to use. So it's gonna ask us, do we wanna start at zone 61? So that's gonna program this key fob as 61, 62, 63, and 64. It picks this for us. If those zones were already being used, it would pick the next lowest four, okay? It, it, it searches this out automatically. It makes this real simple. So yeah, we're gonna start at 61. Now, you can either enter the serial number, or if you don't know it, if it's an old fob and that thing is worn off, all you have to do is transmit any button on that fob. 
Okay, and it picked it up. There's our serial number, we transmitted loop one, so that checks out. We can star right past that. Done. That's all we have to do. That key fob is learned in. You only have to transmit it one time and it's bulk learns in all four buttons. Now, if we wanna do a second key fob, where it's gonna start at 57, 58, 59, and 60. And then it goes down from there until you have all your key fobs done. But we don't need the program anymore, so we're gonna zero out of this. And then star nine nine. The only other thing that we have to do to make this key fob work is we have to assign this to a user. It will not work until it's assigned to a user code. So my panel for the most part is defaulted. I've only got one code. It's the master one, two, three, four, and we're going to assign this to the master code. So the master code on 20P always sits in slot number two. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put in the master code. We're gonna do eight for codes. 0, 02 being that 0, 02 is a master code, and then any of these four point numbers. I'm going to take a minute here and let this kind of jump out. You don't have to program all four of these buttons. As long as you put in any of these four zones to that code, we're good. So again, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the master, 8, 0, 2, pound 4, and then any of those key fob points. And there's our confirmation beep. We're done. We are finished. That's all we have to do. So watch. OA. Disarm. Stay. And panic. It's that easy. You don't have to go in and program all four buttons individually. The panel gives you what you need to bulk and roll these all in one shot. So we're good. Hope you enjoyed this. It is a quick and dirty video. Leave a comment. If, hey, if you have any more questions about 20Ps that maybe I can help you out with, leave a comment and maybe I can make you a video.